Every good confession starts with a proper examination of conscience, reflecting on the sins you've committed after your previous confession. When it comes to your time for the confession, don't forget to take your small card, which will guide you through the entire process. If you don't have one, don't worry, because there'll be one inside the confessional. Your church will have something similar as well. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, so you've made it into the confessional. That's the hardest part. Now here comes the easier part. Step one, you start your confession by saying, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been so many days, so many weeks, so many months since my last confession. And these are my sins. I sinned when, not so fast, the confessional is strictly private and the priest is under the seal of the confession. He will not reveal your sins. So therefore, do not hold anything back. Clear your conscience before the priest. The priest sits behind the screen and cannot see you personally. At the end of your confession, once you have mentioned all your sins to the priest, you may say the following words such as, for these sins and the sins of my life, I am sorry. At that point, the priest will then offer some spiritual guidance and, and penance, which may take the form of prayer. The part which causes the most angst for people in the confessional is the act of contrition which the priest will then ask you to say. Fortunately though, we have several of these available and it's on the card. So normally it goes, oh my God, because you are so good, I'm very sorry that I have sinned against you and with the help of your grace, I will not sin again, amen. Once you've said your act of contrition, the priest will then absolve you from your sins and he says the following prayer. God the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and set the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once the priest has given his final blessing, he will say something like, Go in peace and God bless you. Which a simple response is, Thank you, Father. Well, wasn't that easy? You'd be surprised at how good you feel after a proper and good confession. In fact, the spiritual benefits are numerous, but there's still one more thing to do. You have to say your penance, and I suggest you do it before you leave the church, otherwise you might forget. You can find all the times for extra confessions in our parish bulletin and on our Facebook page. For your local church, please ask your own parish priest.